Hello viewers, today we are going to see the uh, important topic in accountancy. Here for the intermediate and uh, degree first year, those who are joining, for them also, or freshers, or those who want to learn accounting, this is very easy and important topic. In accountancy, in accounting cycle, this journal entry, journal entry is very important and basic topic. Here you should know about the transaction. What is a transaction? Transaction means in a business organization. Buying of the goods is a transaction. Selling of the goods is a transaction. Payment of the expenditure is a transaction. Receipt of the income. Received of the income is a transaction. Paid into bank. Received or withdraw from the bank. Or the investment of amount. Each and everything is a transaction. Okay. The transaction should be monetary values. So based on the accounting rules, based on the accounting principles, we are writing journal entries today. Okay. See, it is very easy and it is very important topic. Without the journal entries, there is no accounts. Accounts basics and starting with the journal entries only. Okay. First transaction you should know. For the given transaction, you have to write the journal entry. Means the recording in the books. Journal entries means recording in the books of accounts. Which is done by the bookkeeper and accountant. And here you can see, first of all you should know about the accounting rules. Accounting rules. According to the dual aspect concept, every transaction we are dividing into two aspects. How many aspects? Two aspects. One is debit aspect. Second one is credit aspect. Debit aspect and credit aspect. It means one transaction we are writing in two ways. Okay, in two ways. For example, if you go to the market or shop, what you will do? If you want to buy a product, you will give the money. And you will receive the product. What is going from you? Money is going from you. Cash. What you are receiving? Product you are receiving. Yes or no? One side, one aspect it is going. Another aspect you are receiving. Receiving product, one aspect. Giving money, another aspect. So one transaction, two aspects. Okay? Understood? So in every transaction of the business, two aspects is there. Two aspects. That is debit one and credit one. Here based on the debit and credit rule, the accounts mainly we are here personal account, real account, nominal account. Personal, real, nominal. Personal account, individual persons, natural persons, artificial persons, like a name of the company, a name of the general persons, Raju, Ramu, Sudha, Raghu, Amir, Samrin, like that all the names are the personal account only. Okay. And the company name. SBI, SBH, Canara Bank Reliance. Everything is a personal account. In this personal account, two aspects is there. Debit aspect, credit aspect. Receiver. The person who is receiving. Receiving. He is a debit. The person who is giving is credit. Two persons is there. One is receiver, second one is giver. Receiver is debit, giver is credit. Receiver is debit and giver is credit. And second one, real account. What comes in debit, what goes out credit. In real account, here assets is there. Assets. Real account, it deals with the assets. What comes in debit. Asset comes in debit. What goes out credit? Asset goes out credit. Okay. What comes in debit? What goes out credit? For example, cash. 
कैश इज आट कैश कम्स इन डेबिट कैश गोस आउट क्रेडिट आपोजिट डेबिट इज कंप्लीटली आपोजिट टू द क्रेडिट वाट कम्स इन डेबिट वाट गोस आउट क्रेडिट ओके मशीनरी कम्स इन डेबिट मशीनरी डेबिट मशीनरी गोस आउट मशीनरी क्रेडिट फर्नीचर कम्स इन फर्नीचर डेबिट फर्नीचर गोस आउट फर्नीचर क्रेडिट वेन इट गोस आउट इट क्रेडिट वेन इट कम्स इन इट डेबिट वस्ते डेबिट पे क्रेडिट असैट कम्स इन डेबिट असैट गोस आउट आर इज गोइंग आउट ओके एंड हिर् नामल अकौंट थर्ड वन इज नामल अकौंट दिस नामल अकौंट डील वि एक्सपेस लासे इनकम अंड ग All expenses and losses debit. Nominal account, all expenses and losses debit. All incomes and gains credit. See, expenses means payments. Salary paid, rent paid, rates paid, taxes paid, insurance paid. Whatever the payment is there, that all things are the expenses debit. Received incomes. Received means discount received, rent already received, interest received. Whatever the received is there, that is income. All incomes are credit. Okay, based on these three accounts, debit credit rules. Okay, for every account, debit is there, credit is there. Personal debit is there, credit is there, and the real debit credit, nominal debit credit. Based on the accounting rules, we are going to post the journal entries, recording of the journal entries. based on the accounting rules okay now first one businessman will start the business whenever he is starting the business the entry first entry he he is starting his business with capital amount okay capital amount commences the business is compulsory compulsory transaction is commences the business started business Navin commenced the business. Navin started a business. Okay. Kiran commenced the business. Mahesh commenced the business. Raju commenced the business. Ajay commenced the business. Okay. Commenced the business. Started a business. Raghu started a business with cash. Okay. Like that. Now. Whenever commences the business is there, commences the business is there. Business owner is giving money to business. Owner is giving money to business. For business, it is money is comes into business. Okay, owner is giving, business is receiving. Based on the business entity concept, owner and the business is separate. Owner separate, business separate. so now owner is giving money to business so for business it is business it is what comes here for business cash comes whenever he is investing cash comes into business what comes in what comes in debit as per the real account what comes in debit okay cash comes in cash is debit so first transaction always commencement of business vyapara prarambhamu business started here first transaction for example i am writing the date first january these transactions related to the one particular month for example january i am taking okay january first 2020 okay commenced the business when a commenced business is there is receiving money business receiving money business receiving money so what comes here cash comes here so cash is debit cash account debtor like this you have to write debtor for example amount is 10000 so write down cash account debtor 10000 in debit column here yes, small dash and what is credit here first debit aspect completed now credit aspect cash comes debit and who is the giver 
who is giving this cash to business who is giving owner owner is investing he is a giver okay for example owner name is navin i told you navin so it's a capital amount navin capital account capital is a liability and the owner is a giver so based on the personal account giver is credit giver is credit giver is credit so i am writing to navin capital account okay capital account here this is two credit you should start with a two give some space and write down t o two and navin capital account okay credit straight credit means second column here credit column 10000 dash see now debit column 10000 credit column 10000 equal okay both equal whatever the debit must be equal to the credit debit must be equal to the credit after writing this jet entry we have to write down the narration narration means explanation of the entry why we are writing the above entry why because of the navin started business commencement of the business okay so here i am writing being you should start with the being being navin commenced commenced business or business commenced by the navin or navin started a business you can write in different way okay explanation we have to give and write down in another day take a fourth day Fourth January, twenty. And the sales is there. Sales when the goods sold. Business means we need to sell the goods. We need to sell the goods. Okay, goods sold. Only sales. Sold goods for cash. Everything is same only. Why we are selling for cash only, na? To receive the cash, we are selling the goods. Okay, so sales. generates the income sales creates the income by selling the we are receiving amount when you are selling the goods what you will receive amma cash you will receive so what comes here to business business will receive the cash cash comes into business so cash is debit cash is debit so cash account that are Cash account debit. For example, thousand rupees. I am writing here debit column. So debit means debit column only amount. Cash account data. And here sales generates income. Sales create income. Sales always credit side. All incomes are credit or not? See nominal account. All incomes are credit. In nominal account. All incomes are credit. so now sales is a income so sales is a credit here start with the two two sales account sales is a credit so write down amount also in the credit column okay first column debit second column credit now write down the narration explanation being goods sold for cash being goods sold for cash being goods sold okay and next uh, day 7th 7th day i am writing 7th day 7th day In the seventh day, here goods sold, sales only. Goods sold to, goods sold to 
one person. His name is Mr. Ravi. Mr. Ravi. Goods sold to Mr. Ravi. Okay. In this cash is not there. So whenever cash is not there, this Ravi will pay later. Not immediately. Ravi will pay the amount later. Okay. Goods sold for credit, not for cash. When there is no cash, it is a credit transaction. Are you going to credit transaction? No cash transaction. In future, he will give. Ravi will give in future. So, present we will write his name. Because he is a receiver. He is receiving benefit. Goods he is receiving. Okay. So, receiver, debit. And we are selling goods. Sales is an income. So, we should write down. All incomes are credit. Okay. So, now we are selling to Ravi. Ravi is a receiver. Receiver is debit. So, write down. Ravi account data. To sales is an income. So, write down to sales account. We are selling to Ravi. Okay. To sales account. Here, debit column. For example, I told you 500. And credit sales also 500. Now, explanation being goods sold to Sold to Ravi. Okay. Good sold to Ravi. Now we completed the commencement of business, cash sales, and credit sales. Three transactions completed. Okay. And we'll see the now we will see the purchase. Whenever we are recording the purchase, how we should write the purchase in the books. Okay. We will see the purchases. Okay. Date, particulars, LF, debit, credit. Okay. Three entries completed. We will see now when purchases is there. Compulsory. Businessman should purchase goods from the supplier. Okay. Customers also will purchase from the business. Here, whenever we are purchasing goods, means business is purchasing. Whenever purchasing. Purchasing means we are spending amount. We are spending means it is an expenditure. Okay. Purchase is an expenditure in nature. See in nominal account, all expenses and losses debit. So, purchase is expenditure. So, purchase is always debit. Okay. Purchase is always debit. Only purchase sometimes they will give. Or purchase goods for cash. Purchase goods. Purchase goods from so and so person for cash. If cash is mentioned or not mentioned, we have to take cash only. Other than the name is there. Only the cash. Cash transaction. So what you should write? Only purchase or purchase goods for cash. Purchase is an expenditure in nature. We are spending. So, all expenses are debit in nominal account. Okay. So, purchase is debit. All expenses debit means purchase is expenditure. So, purchase is debit. So, I am writing here the date of 8, 2020. Purchase account. Purchase account. Data or for example, 2000. Okay. Debit column. And here, credit. We are purchasing. Okay. What we are giving, what we are paying to supplier, what we are paying, 
we are paying cash okay whenever we are paying cash it goes out or it comes in we are paying means it goes out what goes out cash goes out what goes out credit real account what goes out credit so cash goes out cash is credit okay cash goes out cash is credit so i am writing here to cash account so cash is going out so cash is credit to cash account credit column i am writing 2000 okay debit column 2000 credit column 2000 okay so narration explanation being cash purchases cash purchases or purchased goods you can write anything okay this entry mainly for the only purchase purchase goods per cash goods purchased you have to write this entry purchase account data to cash account okay and next uh, uh, credit purchase is there now cash purchase completed now credit purchase whenever the cash is not there for example we will tell our supplier supplier later i will pay amount business will tell later we will pay the amount in future we will pay the amount that is a credit transaction immediately we are not paying amount if not paying cash means it is a credit transaction we should write the name of the person okay goods purchased from goods purchased from naresh goods purchased from goods purchased from naresh goods purchased from naresh we are purchasing what he is doing what he is doing he is giving he is giving so giver always credit in the personal account giver the credit giver the credit so naresh is giver naresh is credit purchase is a expenses in nominal account expenses debit so now purchase always debit so write down on 11 purchase purchase account data or for example 500 okay debit column and who is the giver we are purchasing and Naresh is giving we are purchasing from Naresh so he is a giver giver is credit to Naresh Naresh account 500 okay ma debit column 500 purchase 500 debit Naresh 500 credit being being goods purchased from Naresh from Naresh this is credit purchase we are not paying amount means it is a credit purchase credit purchase means you should write down purchase debit side name of the person credit side ok next we will pay the expenditure business will pay expenditure business will pay salaries business will pay rent business will pay rates business will pay taxes business will pay advertisement expenses business will pay the many expenditures okay all expenses debit in nominal account for example we are paying salary our business is paying salary salary is debit we are paying rent rent is debit we are paying advertisement expenses advertisement expenses is debit okay so for example i am saying it is a salary 14th debt salary we are paying salary we are paying so salary is the expenditure all expenses debiting nominal account so salary i am writing debit side because of expenditure salary account salary account data to whenever the business is paying salary what is what is going from business what is going from business 
cash is goes out whenever cash is goes out it is credit in real account in real account what goes out credit yes or no what goes out credit so cash goes out cash is credit we are paying salary means cash is going from the business yes or no so cash is credit cash account credit so cash account to cash account for example 5000 is there so debit column 5000 credit column cash 5000 here explanation being salaries salary paid salary paid okay salary paid next if any income we received we'll see the if incomes we received if we received any income incomes so i want to rough this one i'll start the remaining So I am writing here the remaining entries. I hope you are understanding very well. Now we will see the when incomes received, when business is receiving rent, when business is receiving discount, when business is receiving interest, all incomes are the credit. See here nominal account, all incomes are credit. Nominal account, all incomes are credit. All incomes are credit means income is credit. Okay. Income is credit. For example, rent is income. Rent received. Received is there, that is income. Rent received. Discount received. Interest received. So, this interest received is income. Income, credit side. All incomes are credit now. So, income, credit side. Actually, if you receive the any income, what you will receive, Amma? Cash you will receive. Income only. But it is cash. Okay. So now see. When you are receiving the income. What you will receive? Cash. So cash comes in or it goes out. Whenever you are receiving. It comes in. Whenever you are receiving income. Cash comes into business. So cash is debit. Cash account. Data. To. Incomes or credit I told you. So now to income account. What is income? For example, interest received. So I am writing interest received is credit side. Interest received. Interest received account. Okay, cash account data. For example, interest received is 2000. So cash account 2000 we are receiving as a income so cash is debit and all incomes are credit interest received is a income so income is credit side 2000 okay debit column 2000 cash credit column 2000 interest received now assume here 12 20 the date being interest received okay draw the line this transaction completed income transaction okay cash debit income is credit okay next sometimes we'll deposit amount in the bank we'll deposit amount in the bank okay cash deposited in bank cash deposited in bank cash deposited means cash is going where it is going? It is going to bank. Yes or no? We are depositing means we are giving to bank. So what the bank is doing? Bank is receiving. Actually bank is a person. SBH bank is there. Person. I told you the all companies are the persons only. Artificial person which is created by the law. 
okay so bank is receiver we are paying to bank we are depositing in bank means bank is a receiver receiver debit so bank is debit so i am writing here bank account debtor because of it is receiving receiver debit in personal account receiver debit so bank receiver bank is debit for example 1000 rupees debit column 1000 and what is going from us we are depositing okay bank is receiving bank debit what is going from us cash is going from us okay cash goes out credit whenever it goes out cash always credit okay to cash account it goes out so it is credit cash account credit column 1000 okay the narration being cash deposited cash deposited next deposited completed withdraw sometimes we will withdraw business will withdraw amount from the bank whenever we are withdrawing the amount withdrawing the amount cash comes to us what comes to us cash comes in when we are withdrawing cash comes into business so cash is debit cash comes in what comes in debit cash comes in cash is debit okay and who is giving we are withdrawing means bank is giving so giver is credit credit the giver bank is giving so bank is credit to bank account okay being being cash withdraw from bank withdraw from bank okay like this we have to write the entries sometimes here amount for example 500 we are withdrawing cash column 500 debit bank column 500 credit sometimes we will withdraw sometimes we will deposit and sometimes owner will withdraw amount from the business that is personal use we are calling it is a drawings personal use we are calling it is a drawings okay owner sometimes withdraw amount from the business it is a personal use personal use always it is a one type of uh, loss for the business we should write down drawings account debtor i'm writing here drawings account debtor to for example he is drawing the amount of cash you write down what is going from us cash so cash account okay cash account if goods means you should write down the purchase account to purchase account you should write down in the place of cash drawings means personal use okay so these entries you have to write these are the important entries okay expenses debit incomes credit side you have to write if cash goes out cash is credit cash comes in cash is debit receiver of the person debit giver of the person is credit okay so keep the important points in mind and do the transactions recording of the transactions in the journal entries by using this format date particulars lf ledger folio debit credit okay based on this format you have to do the journal recording based on the debit and credit rules okay thank you